Donald and Macmillan then took over from where Prasad had left off and reduced the home side to 119 for six, a beauty from Donald crashing through the skipper's defences. At 152 for six at the close, the follow-on loomed large and a defeat even larger. But the next day, Azruddin went berserk. Feeling he had little to lose, he played like a man possessed. He was not afraid to hook the quicks and took a particular liking to debutant paceman Lance Klusner, who was smashed for five successive boundaries in an over and retreated from the attack with the sorry figures of 0 for 75 from 14 overs. He would have his say later. Oh, he lost the ball completely. There's a man down at square leg. He completely lost the ball. And Azruddin picks up another boundary, this time in front of square. Over mid on, that's four more. Slightly more dangerous because it was just over mid on. He hadn't quite placed it very well, but he had enough wood on that shot. That's gone over mid on for four more. I tell you what, the very, very few people sitting just now, Deedon Gardens. He's bowling, or as he knows, he's gone for four. Stunning that. I thought I saw Azruddin just walk off, but that was a stunning shot. That's four more. Can you match this? Just slot the ball through mid wicket. Also a no ball. He took his chance. That's four in a row. Where is Klusner going to bowl next? This, to put it quite frankly, is unbelievable stuff. That's five in a row. He's bowling to his string. And these balls are just disappearing to the distant corners of the Eden Gardens. 21 from the over, 220 for seven. Over the top, that's it. Another boundary, and Azur Indian brings up one of the most exciting test centuries in the history. Azur's 100 was the fourth fastest in test history. It came from only 74 balls, and he received excellent support from Kumble, who made a career best 88. The pair added 161 for the eighth wicket, an Indian record.